A holy God. He demands holiness and righteousness among his people. And yet we mock sin. There's the deceitfulness of sin, the awfulness of sin, the treachery of sin. Sin is like a cancer. You may not sense it, you may not feel it, but it's working all the time. And every person here is infected with that disease. And it's terminal, terminal. A desperate, a desperate, desperate, desperate remedy must be found. What is the remedy? There's only one remedy for sin, and that's the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth from all sin. Fools make a mock of sin. Yes, you can go on and laugh. You can be disobedient to your parents. You can mock God's standards of sex and marriage and divorce and ethics and social justice and all the rest of it and make fun of the whole thing if you want to. But I want to tell you if I'm the only one left in the whole world, I'm going to accept God's standards. The Ten Commandments and the Sermon on the Mount in which he lays out his moral standards. And God is not excusing us because we live in a permissive generation. He's not excusing us any more than he excused Sodom and Gomorrah.